Hey, what's cracking everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at Nobara. Nobara, I believe it's a Fedora based system, but uh, we'll get more into the details as we go into it. But right now, I have it up in a virtual machine and uh, let's run through the installer, get it installed, and then we'll take a look at uh, Nobara. And I believe it's a uh, version 40, Nobara 40. Here we are on the virtual machine. And we have the uh, Calamari's installer opened up. So uh, on the first uh, page, we have American English selected as our language. So we'll go ahead and click on next. And our location is selected as Los Angeles, which is correct. Click next. Our keyboard layout is American, it's English US default. Click next. Then I'm gonna select it to erase the disk. And then I'll just add a swap the file. Then I'll click next. It's not a, uh, you don't have to add a swap if you don't want to. Now I'll just enter my uh, user info and give it a strong and complicated password. Of course, something that is not simply one, two. And then in my case, I'm gonna leave it checked to log in automatically. If you're a new user, I wouldn't advise this unless you know what you're doing. All right, and then I'm also gonna leave a check to use the same password for the administrator account. All right, so let's go ahead and click next. Uh, this page is giving us an overview of everything that's gonna happen. Click on install and it's installing. All right, so at this point, I'll pause the video and when we come back, we should be ready to reboot into Nobara 40. All right, and the installer has completed. So we have a button right here. We're actually a check mark to a restart now, and then we'll click on done and reboot into our newly installed system. And we are rebooted into our newly installed system, and we have a Nabara welcome app. Welcome to Nabara Linux. Thank you for choosing Nabara. This welcome screen will help you guide you through the available resources for Nabara, as well as help you set up your computer to your liking. Enjoy the Nabara team. And we also got a message for some updates, but uh, we'll hold off on those for now. So the first tab on here is welcome. And then we have a second tab here that says first steps. So in the first steps, you can uh, update your system. You can open driver manager, install more apps from the software manager, install web apps. Then you got a uh, recommended additions, install Blender 3D Suite, Install Canon Live Video Editor. Install OBS Studio. Install Discord. Then under that, you have a button that says Optional Steps. Under Optional Steps, you can install DaVinci Resolve, Fix Ups. Install Stream. Install Steam Game Fix Ups. Install Proton GE. And then under that, we have a button that says look and feel. So right here, you can get new icons and themes, choose a login manager. Then you have a troubleshoot issues. So it looks like probably some, uh, I don't know if they're web pages or just documentation pages, but you have one that says visit our troubleshooting issues page, visit our documentation page. So I'm pretty sure these are gonna be web pages. Then you have a button for join the community. So you have join our official Discord, join our subreddit, unofficial. And the final button is contribute to Nabara. So you can visit Nabara Project GitHub organization, donate to Glorious Egg Rolls Patreon, donate to Glorious Egg Rolls Ko-Fi. And that's pretty much it on the uh, welcome. Then you have a check right here. So if you want it to start up the next time you start up your system, leave a check. If you don't want it to show up, you can uncheck it. All right. And Nabara is using the uh, KDE desktop environment, and it is a uh, Plasma 6. I can tell by the uh, floating uh, panel on the bottom. You do have a couple of desktop icons. You got a uh, host remote play and Steam. And then uh, you have your uh, system tray right here on your panel with all your notifications, volumes, and things like that. 
Then on the right here, we have some uh, pinned applications along with our application launcher. So we have Firefox, Dolphin, uh, Nabora Package Manager, System Settings, and Update System. Then on our Applications menu, we have pretty standard layout. Uh, the categories are Favorites, All Applications, Development, Education, Games, Graphics, Internet, Multimedia, Office, Settings, System, Utilities, and Help. Then you have your uh, shutdown, restart, and sleep buttons. Then you have your places, which is most likely going to be your folders. And you also have a search on your menu. All right, so let's uh, open up a web browser. Take a look at uh, Nobara from their website. All right, on the website, it says, what is a Nobara project? This site is a work in progress. So it's pretty much, uh, I guess it's being updated daily. But uh, they do have a Discord button, a Patreon button, and a Kofi button for support. All right, then you have a link for change logs. So let's take a look at the change logs. So apparently this was updated July 17th, 2024. So better late than never, eh? After a long period, which consisted of several delays due to various bugs, issues, waiting, on different things, KDE 6.1.1, Mesa, known 46, and video 555 drivers, complete remake of our updater, just to name a few. Nobara 40 is finally released. The previous transition from 3839 was a bit bumpy to say the least. So we wanted to make sure 40 was a good, as good and smooth as we could possibly make it, which of course took way more time than usual. And it says below is a change log of most of the major changes. I'm sure there are probably minor things I missed. Apologies. System updates, flat packs, and snaps. So we have information on that. Theming, desktop environments, graphics, gaming. Yeah. Game scope, game scope sessions, Steam. So yeah, it's all part of gaming. Uh, content creation, hardware support, miscellaneous changes. I'll go ahead and I'll link uh, this website down in the video description. That way you guys can go through it and do a thorough read through if you want to. But I just wanted to get a quick uh, dance at uh, the Nabara 40 update. All right. Then under our system settings, we can get more uh, system info. So let me make this bigger. Let's go all the way down and go to about this system and the bar Linux 40. This version is running KDE Plasma and KDE Plasma is 6.1.1, which is the uh, latest version. Uh, kernel is 6.10. Graphics platform is Wayland. Then you got your uh, hardware support here, or hardware info, not support info. So you got your processor memory, graphics, you know, things like that. Then we have a button right here that says more system information. So let's click on that, see what it opens up. It looks like it's pretty much exactly the same thing, but you do have a uh, different uh, options right here on the side. So you got basic information, network, devices, and graphics. So it does open up a few more options on here. All right. And of course, this is your system setting. So from right here, you can control your inputs, connected devices, networking, appearance and style, apps and windows, workspaces, security and privacy, language and time, system. So pretty much all your controls are on here. All right, let's go through the application, see what we have. Under games, we have uh, Lutris, Proton Plus, Host Remote Play, Doverlay, Steam. So pretty much got everything pre-installed to get you going so you can set up a nice gaming system. Under graphics, we have Gwenview, Inkscape, Ocular, Scan Page. So uh, you got your standard uh, image 
image uh, applications. On the internet, you got Firefox, Host Remote Play, KDE Connect, KNet Attach, NeoChat, Steam, Web Apps. Under multimedia, you have Elisa, Music Player, Comozo for cameras, and Pulse Audio Volume Control. So you would probably be better off downloading something like, uh, I don't know, VLC or something for playing uh, videos, things like that. Then in their office, we have our LibreOffice suites. Pretty much got that all covered. Then you got your settings, your system, and your utilities along with help. So pretty straightforward. All right, so this is Nabara 40. It is a uh, Fedora-based system, I believe. But let's open up the, uh, what is this, the package manager right here? Let's open this up and see how installing software on here works. So we got a little message about updating. But uh, let's do a search. I didn't see a GIMP, so let's look for GIMP. All right, there it is right there. I'll go ahead and check it. And then I guess I'll click right here where it says apply. And it looks like it's gonna run through the updates. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll wait on that. So it says packages for installation. It's gonna give you just uh, dependencies. Click on confirm. You give it a strong and complicated password. All right, so it is going through GIMP pretty fast. Okay, install GPG key. Click on yes. So it looks like it's running quite a few things on here. So I'm not sure if it's actually going through the uh, updates, installing updates, because all I wanted to do was install GIMP. So maybe it did install again, just by itself. It looks like it did, it's all done. So uh, let's just take a quick look at the about. And this is Yum Extender. And it is version 5.0.1. All right, so we'll go ahead and close that. Go back to our graphics and we do have GIMP installed. So that worked pretty nice. Let's just open it up, take a quick look at it. See how it works and then get our version. It is GIMP 2.10.38. All right, so and like I mentioned before that you probably want to download something like VLC so you can uh, play videos. So let's do that while we're here. No, gotta check it first and then click apply. All right, click on confirm, enter your strong and complicated password again, click on okay, and let it go through the action. All right, transaction completed successfully. So let's go ahead and close this again. All right, let's go back to our multimedia. And there it is, VOC. And let's just look at the uh, about info and it is 3.0.21. All right, so pretty straightforward. Uh, I believe this is more catered to like gamers and things like that. So uh, this is something you feel you'd want to use for your gaming. I mean, pretty much you can install Steam and you know all these other programs on any Linux distro, and it should work pretty much the same. If this is something you would like to check out, then hey, by all means, take a look at it. Uh, everything's working. Nothing seemed to fail. Uh, let me try opening up a uh, browser. Just get some. Uh, more detailed info. Let's see if they have uh, HTOP installed. If it is not, how about NeoFetch? And NeoFetch is installed. We can make this bigger. And right here, it says Novara Linux 40. And again, the kernel info. And you have your kernel, your uptime packages, shell, resolution, 
desktop environment, window manager, theme, icon, terminal, CPU, GPU, and your memory. So uh, to install software right here, I believe it uses YUM or ARP. Or is it YUM or DNF? It's probably both. So let's say like for uh, HTOP, I would type sudo DNF install HTOP. See if that works. And it looks like it does. Here's my password. All right, type Y. All right, and that was pretty quick too. So there you go, HTOP installed. And we can see right here on our memory, it is using one gigabyte. And it's even using 700 uh, megabytes of the swap. But the load averages are 0 0.61 and 0 0.91, so it's pretty average. And as far as uh, things that it's running, it is running quite a bit of things in the background. But usually KDE and, you know, KDE and GNOME, they'll do this. They run a lot of programs in the background. Alrighty. And we could take a look at the about on the, the terminal. And it is console 24.05.0. All right. There is a process running in this window. Do you still want to quit? Yes, close window. All right, so just want to take a quick look at Nabarro 40. They just released in July 17, so I am a little late on it, but uh, better late than never, right? So uh, like I said before, there's this system seems to be catered to gamers, at least from what I've seen. So uh, if you want to check it out, I'll leave it down the download links in the video description. That way you can uh, take a look at it, mess with it, and have fun with it. All right, remember, always test things in a virtual machine before you go bare metal. That way you can uh, find problems that are going to happen before they happen. Because if you put it on bare metal and you wipe your drive, you pretty much uh, screwed yourself, in other words. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this video, and I'm out.